Welcome to another Excel Athlete Fitness video. Today we're going to look, get a little bit hardcore and we're going to look at some VBA. Now I'm not a VBA expert but I've tinkered a little bit and a few easy or relatively easy things can blow your mind in terms of how effective and, and useful they can be. Today what we're going to look at is some user defined functions and what we're going to do is take it a step even further and create an Excel add-in that would allow you to perhaps send this to other people so that they could use the same functions as you have. To illustrate the process I'm going to use three common scenarios. One of them is something uh, happens all the time. You've got a yo-yo test score and you need to convert it to a yo-yo distance. So uh, each score obviously has, has corresponding distance there. What I'd normally do is I'd put in a reference table somewhere on another sheet and I'd do a VLOOKUP. But wouldn't it be great if we could just write a function that said convert yo-yo distance and click enter and it would do it for us. I definitely uh, am a fan of calculating uh, top speed of, a, of an athlete. So often what I'll do is the 40 meter time minus the 20 meter time and I'll get a representation of top speed, in this case 27.7. And you can see up the top here, you can see the formula requires you to pardon me, it requires you to calculate the time difference between the two 40 and 20 meter splits and divide it by the distance times 3.6 and so on. Again it would be great if you could just type equals running speed and have it calculate for you. Last one, certainly I've used this a lot over the years with team sports, is you want to weigh an athlete pre and post training and find out what their percentage dehydration is so you can give them a, a prescription for how much fluid they should take in. So once again you'll go um, the difference between pre and post body weight converted to a percentage. Usually a 2% dehydration is a marker of, of needing to apply some intervention. Alright, so I'm going to open a new workbook and what I'm going to do is go to the VBA Visual Basic Editor. So you can do this in two different ways. You can click on the Developer tab and click Visual Basic or you can use the keyboard shortcut Alt F11. And so what Alt F11 will do is open up uh, a scary looking code window where you can start doing some work. Alright, so we're in Book 2 so I want to go Insert Module and when I insert a module it's now expecting me to write a little bit of code so I'm just going to type this up so hopefully uh, you can keep up um, it doesn't matter if you can't understand everything I'm doing we're going to create our own function we're going to call it speed what we have to do is tell Excel what the, the variables that we want to have input so we need to input start time and I'm just telling Excel that start time is a variable that might have a few digits uh, after a decimal place we're going to put an end time and we're also going to put in a distance distance between the start and end time. Just going to insert a few blank lines here. Now once we've put these three values in, our speed calculation looks like this. And there we go. That function will now be available for us in our spreadsheet. Well, it will be once we do a couple more uh, uh, setup options, but that's all the code I need to write to allow me to use a new function in Excel. So our second function, the dehydration one, uh, I've just taken the liberty of, of copying that in already. So really we've only got two variables and I declare them right at the beginning when I write the word function. The function is called dehydration and then the two variables that will be entered into that function are listed in brackets with a description as to what type of variable it is. 
Now, once we've specified that, we just have to write down what we think the function is going to, what we want the function to do. So, the first thing I've done on this first line is convert it to a raw number. That's going to be a percentage, and it might have five or six decimal places to it. So I want to round that, and that's what the second line does. Dehydration equals whatever we've done in the line above. Start mass minus end mass divided by start mass times 100, and round it to two decimal places. So this function now, dehydration, is also going to become available when we're in our spreadsheet. Just going to do one more. This one has a lot of lines of code. And so I've also just pasted in a third function. Now I'm not a VBA expert and there are people out there that may be jumping up and down right now about how inefficiently I've done this. What I'm pretty good at is just making things work. I'm sure there's a much better way of doing this. Um, but basically what I did, uh, you'll be aware of the if equation in Excel. I've just used a whole lot of if equations in some VBA code to determine what conversion from level to distance is appropriate. So here are all the levels of the yo-yo in the first part of each line, and the second part of each line uh, is the equivalent meter distance. So there's a whole bunch of lines there. So it's called function yo-yo level 1 distance. Now this is a, an important stage, so uh, have, a, have, a, have a close look at this one. I'm going to save as I'm going to go back to Excel first. There's nothing in this worksheet, that's okay. But I want to save as. And if I click down the bottom here, you'll see fifth up is Excel add-in. And when I do that, it takes me to, you can see the file path at the top here, it'll take you to the place where the add-ins are stored. So I'm going to call this Athlete Fitness, and I'm going to click Save. I'm going to close that. I don't have to save. I can click Don't Save. Now I'm back in my sample data files. I can't jump straight in yet and use my functions. I have to do one more thing. And in 2010, click on File, Excel Options, and on the left-hand side here, second up from the bottom, is a, a button called Add-ins. If I click there, what I have to do one more thing, and that is right at the bottom it's got Excel add-ins and Go next to it. If I click on the Go button, here's a list of all the available add-ins. The one we just created is called Athlete Fitness. So if I tick that box and go OK, I can now start using that formula. So if I try the yo-yo one first, equals yo-yo level 1 distance, that is a new function. Open that, click on 15.6, close brackets, enter. So I can copy that down, just like that. Let's look at the second one. It calls speed. What are my variables? Start time, Actually, we want to use the 20 meter distance. End time, and the distance between those two is 20 meters. Just like before, I can copy that down. And finally, the dehydration function equals dehydration. Start weight, end weight, enter. So there we have it. Excel add-ins, Excel user-defined functions. A little bit scary because they involve VBA, but really worthwhile if you can sit down and figure out what you want to do. If there are things you are doing regularly, uh, it saves you a lot of time. And the really neat thing about turning it into an add-in is that it'll be available in any worksheet that you've got open. And if you wanted to, you could send it to someone else 
they could install it and those functions would be available for them as well. So uh, thanks for stopping by. Plenty of things to learn if you're interested in taking VBA further. Uh, so come back another time and we'll see if we can do a couple more cool tricks. See you next time.